Today we're going to learn how to take a series parallel schematic diagram and transfer that information into an actual circuit onto the breadboard. So let's take a look at the current flow to make sure that this is truly a series parallel circuit. Here we have current coming out of the negative of the source. It flows through this wire till it hits this node. Now again, remember, when we have a node and current has a choice that is parallel. So that some of the current flows up through R2. The rest of the current flows through R3, where it meets back up at the corresponding node. Now all of the current flows into R1. So after this node, to go through R1, there is no choice. So that is a series circuit. So what we have here now is a series right here and a parallel circuit. Now that we've identified that this is a truly series parallel circuit, let's go ahead and collect our components. I have an R1 of 6.8K and I have right here a 6.8K. I have an R2 of 1K and here's my R2 of 1K and I have an R3 of 3.3K. Additionally you'll need four jumpers, two of any color, a little bit longer than the next two, and then one red for our positive and one black for our negative. Alright, now that we've got everything gathered together, let's go ahead and build the circuit. Off screen I've got my voltage source set to 5 volts, so let's go ahead and put in my positive lead for my source into my positive power bar. Let's take my negative for my voltage source and plug it into the blue one which I'm using as my negative. Next up let's go ahead and put in R1. R1 is in series, so I'm going to build a circuit like I see it. I'm going to put R1 horizontally on my breadboard. Now I'm going to put R2 in. Now since these two combine at this node, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take R2 and put it in the same column as the other terminal of R1. And then I'm going to go ahead and put in R3, which is in parallel. And put it over here. Okay. Now we're still not done. We still have um, <clears throat> the jumpers to put on. So let's go ahead and place our jumpers. Our positive jumper will go into our positive bar and connect up to R1. R2 and 3 are connected up in parallel. So I'm going to take my yellow jumpers and connect up the top terminals for both resistors, R2 and R3, and connect up the second yellow jumper to the bottom terminals of R2 and R3. And then to complete it, I'm going to connect up from the bottom of R2 to my negative power bar. And there we have our series parallel circuit. Let's go ahead and verify that we bid the, built the circuit. Here we have current coming out of the voltage source and reaching our bottom node. So here is our current coming through the negative, through the power bar, into the node. Current then splits up and goes through R2 and through R3. So our current continues on through R2 and because of the jumpers loops around R3 where they combine and then flow through R1. So we flow through R1 and then we head back into the positive side of our voltage source. So through this jumper back to our power source. So here we have our schematic diagram and our completed circuit. 
And as you can see, I built it very similar to what my schematic diagram looked like, which again will help me later on if there's trouble with the circuit. It's not working right. I can look to see where I may have made a mistake.